My first time making red beans and rice. So, um, first thing I'm doing is doing the bacon, and then I add celery, onions, um, green peppers, and garlic. Right, here's my beans. You, I soaked them for 24 hours. You can soak them at least 8 hours. I did 24. So, I'm going to go finish, cut my vegetables up. Here's my vegetables. I'm supposed to use a certain kind of sausage I don't have, so I'm using smoked sausage to get that smoke flavor. I got onions, celery, green peppers. I still have to cut up my garlic. Okay, you let that go. It's the onions, celery, and green peppers with the bacon for like five minutes, and then I'll put in the garlic and the meat. All right there's the garlic. There's my sausage. It's almost five minutes. I'll put the garlic in. And then I'll start cooking my rice. And I think once it start cooking, I have to cook it for like 45 minutes. After I put the beans in the... You have to put in three cups of chicken broth and six cups of water. Okay. Okay, these are the food seasonings you need. You need thyme, black pepper, paprika. You do... People do use hot sauce. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put them all in here in just a second teaspoon of paprika. Okay, the vegetables are all softened. Now I'm going to add the paprika, pepper, and thyme. You can put a hot sauce if you want that. I don't want it. And you can put bay leaves, but I don't really like the taste of bay leaves, so I'm not putting them in. And now i got to put the sausage in and the, and the broth and stuff. Hang on. Okay, the sausage is in. It calls for three cups of chicken broth, but I'm going to add four because this, this container holds four cups so and six cups of water. So I'll only put in five, four cups of chicken broth and four cups of water. Okay, I got the water in the chicken broth. There goes the beans and you cook it. Not on a slow, but not on too high, but you want them, you want the beans, this is what it says, you want the beans to boil and bounce against each other is how they put it to get we're out of the um, starch and it makes them soft so 45 minutes so I'm going to set this for 45 minutes and we'll let it go when it starts boiling I'll turn it down to where it's boiling but not over boiling not rapid and we'll see how this turns out so I just use four and four because if I put five cups of water in here it would have been too high. You don't want it over boiling, right? But that's what it looks like right now. Okay, guys. Wish these beans luck. Okay, it's boiling finally. It took forever to start boiling. But you don't want it to boil too fast. That's what it looks like. I might have chunked mine too big, but... And I don't care. I'm using the bag rice because I like it. I got home. I got the other kind, but I'm using that right now. So, I'll come back when it's done and I'll serve it up and let you know it's, let you see it. Okay. Bye. Later. Soon. Well, for you guys, it'll be a second. Hey, guys. I had to go a little bit longer because I wasn't boiling quick enough. So, this has been more like an hour and 15 minutes right now. But it's cooked down a lot. You can see how nice and gravy it's getting like. So I'm going to let it go for like 15 more minutes. Because before the beans, I, I didn't let it boil hard enough like it is right now. You see that? And the beans are feeling more done. Because I, when I was moving, I could like kind of feel them. They're getting a little better. They're not like, she's got like a shell on them still. That's what it looks like done. I have to taste it as soon as it cools a bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to taste it. I like it. For my first time making it, I think it tastes pretty good. It's probably one of those things. It'll probably taste better every time you um, heat it up. That's what it looks like. 
Okay. It's red beans and rice. Not hot because I didn't put the spice in it. Okay. God bless everybody. Have a good night. Bye.